Well, I was in hmm. a woodland mansion because I had one of my quests had me go there and finally got through more or less all of it and fought the boss that's in it. it had some hmm. difficulty there. I may have cheated in some food because it was being a bit BS. <laughs> you cheated in the food? Uh, some carrots, some basic carrots, just because mm. at one point I was basically just having to churn away and because it basically part of the boss's fu methodology is to spawn a sort of ravager to ride as a mount for a moment. Oof. The problem is though, while he was stuck in a little hole, you have the weird some sort of crossing of like you know different things spawning on top of each other. Yeah. In train, he also but he. He spawned one that had special affixes on it. Hmm. And that, more importantly, one that had po a poisonous aura. Mm. Ooh, Rip. I can see that from. Eventually, I end up running out of food pretty quickly, and I end up have to. And there was other things attacking, and I was getting. I had no other way to heal, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna spawn in a few carrots just to get this thing done with. Us. What was the code again? 1452. Remember your driving lessons. The enemy was called, but... Oh. I... Yeah, potato. I think that's what you'd want. My fault. No, I, I don't remember. Oh, oh we but... need stamina, so... Yeah, that's why you, we had, you had selected the big potato last time as uh, a guarantee. that's right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Great summer yeah, we, uh, uh, oh. right now. Yeah, I basically had to... Oh! oh yep. Hey, uh, you just reached a high amount of hype. Good for you. Does the, that mean you're aiming for the hype base destination? No. No. If so, there's a wacky adventure that can unlock a layer for that destination. Wanna go for it? Sorry, I'm not going for that. No. The only reason we're in a hype is because we screwed, we went for pure chaos. Do you yeah. want to do it anyway, oh. just in case we accidentally get the hype? <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Uh, check there. Click the thing on the right, just to see what the. I can't remember what the hype destination is. That's nice. Man. Oh yeah, no, not in the mood. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. Gotcha. I just wanted to check. Sorry for breaking the fourth wall. That's kind of your whole thing, narrator. That's an entire <laughs> plot line in Monster Brawl the first. Behold, the world's largest potato. So large, so starchy, so rustic. So right for the creation of the world's largest plate of french fries. <laughs> There's plenty of you besides there at this agricultural marvel. What do you do? Hmm. Well, we want to go for stamina. Chaos must wait. Feed from the potato. But we eat should... from the potato. <laughs> How could you look at the giant potato and not crave fries? You need to find something to eat. Cactus. <laughs> hey, look! They have a diner built into the side of the potato. Wouldn't that uh, remove some of the weight from the potato? Hmm. Uh, it's such a long line. They better at least have vodka on the menu. Because vodka is made from potatoes. It is. So, who wants to be our ghost girl? Or ring girl? Come to the Big Potato Diner. What can I get you? That's real good. Hey. One hamburger, please. What part of Potato Diner do you understand? Don't, don't ask him that. We might be here for a while. <laughs> Damn, these dishes are pretty expensive. Why does this potato stand so pricey? Because we make all our food out of the big potato. Every bite is a bite of potato history. Trademark. Wait, wouldn't that literally cause the entire potato to be hollowed out within like a year? I'm pretty sure it would rot before then. Yeah, no, good point. The moment it's cut into, it's going to rock. Yeah, no. No? Not necessarily. 
Maybe. Anyway. Matt, you can cut potatoes in half to grow them. Hmm. I mean, they'll root anyway inside a bag. Awesome! Mm -hmm. Does the big potato make really good potato dishes or something? Anything they all taste kind of stale. The big tail's getting a little up there in age. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we have this special section on the menu. The manager isn't sure if it's more they okay to keep selling these kitchens, but so the prices are more competitive. <laughs> That doesn't sound great, but oh boy, these prices are low. They're so cheap they won't even make a dent in your money. <laughs> okay. The question is, which one of these dishes will feed you while fucking you up in the least inconvenient way? <laughs> the infinite fry or smashed potatoes. Well, magic looks like on the left, and right is... Soul, I'm gonna guess, because considering we're beating these poor creatures to death... So you take infinite fry. I want the infinite fry anyway, because it's just really funny. You fill up and just die, basically. <laughs> huh? Isn't that literally infinite? Is it? There's no way. <coughs> oh god, they're choking on the potato already! Great, no! I, I shouldn't have had that cup of cereal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, There's no way to finish cooking something that defies the laws of time and space. Yes, cup of cereal, like a cup of soup. Except it's cold. Sure, for legal purposes, it's not infinite. Just try not to think too much about it and stop eating it at some point and you should be fine. So would that mean that everybody who's tried to eat this french fry has just eaten the parts after somebody else has eaten it? I would rip that part off. <laughs> if it was me. Yeah, I mean, they, like... They, they cut off the part where you stop biting. <laughs> yes. You start eating. You gain plus one stamina. You can chew and chew. Thinking at any moment you'll reach the end of the fry. But you don't. <gasps> Adios, mio. Buenos dias! Yeah. So yeah, a cup of cereal Crazy. isn't cold. It's, it's just room temperature. Uh -huh. You eat the same fry from one minute, and then five minutes, then an hour, then longer. There's no end to this crunchy, salty thing. Well, at least it's still a crunchy fry, right? Like, it's not a stale thing. After an hour, you need to stop. <laughs> yeah, but... I mean... Tess, I'm sorry, but it's time for an intervention. You gotta stop eating that fry. It's unhealthy for you. Coming no. from Polly. <laughs> Polly Coming. drinks responsibly. <laughs> Polly believes in substance use, not abuse. All oh, right, that's spotline, right? Never it's mind. an entire part of her character arc. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I know, and we already did the spotline. <laughs> no way! I've invested too much time into finishing this fry now. I have to see it through. Some cost fallacy for the win. Can we at least have some? No. <laughs> it's my fry. <laughs> it's my fry. You keep eating, okay, but your brain yeah. cannot comprehend infinity, not even in such starchy, simplistic terms. You eventually pass out. I must keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up in the car, Scott and Polly threw the fry away and took you to here to take care of you, which is nice of them. Strange, but you know, they do care about you, you idiot. They've grown as characters. Well, at least mostly. Paul, yes. <laughs> mostly. Yes. Scott kind of is just the same. Yeah, just go. Polly's grown. Yeah. But you're kind of upset because you'd finally found your true calling, eating that infinite fry to completion. Your purpose in life gone forever. Mind? <laughs> oh, com comprehend infinity. Okay. You lose negative one mind, but occasionally suffer nightmares that make you w wake up in cold sweats, looking all starch. Stark! Looking all stark. God damn it. Hi. <laughs> Secluded village. Or. Is that a fuck? 
thinking? That is a 100% Attack on Titan reference. Okay, what's the other one? End of the World Summit? No heroes allowed. So Damn it, Mountain I gotta Doom. wait in the car again? Fuck. That's just Mountain Doom, right, Greed? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we can take Doom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's chaotic <laughs> neutral. <laughs> I'm cutting everything. Exactly. Meanwhile, I gotta sit in stupid village, sit in the car. I'll take your pick. I really don't care. Uh. Well, okay. So, what's yellow again? Is that soul? That's stamina. No, no. Is it? The thing on the. No, 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 no. Orange is soul loss. Or orange is stamina loss. Oh, I think that is soul loss. Yeah. A we can lose orange. soul either way. That's nothing. I yeah. Hmm. Well, again, we have a guaranteed soul loss either way, and then a random point. And then we get hype and uh, purple. Are we there yet? Wow, the oh. evil energy is palpable. Every villain who's any villain must be here. Classic trolley murder. <laughs> I love that. The classic train murder. You don't know if you consider yourself truly villainous, but then again, your life's philosophy is be your worst self. Also, you are an ancient elder god who, you know, destroyed the universe a few times. Yeah, we're trying to fix that. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> trying to fix that moral compass. Which is close enough, apparently, because they give you an entry pass to the door. Sweet. <laughs> Except for Brian, he has to wait in the car. Fuck! <laughs> there are plenty of events being hosted. Which one interests you most? Hmm. Not too fine, good. I ended a whole timeline, and you can too. Well, that's kind of fits a little too well for Zoe, but, you know. Fuck it, alright. You understand the basics of villainy, but now's the perfect time to learn from the experts. Oh god, evil faith. Alright, how do I do this? Hmm. I usually do her southern. What's the opposite of southern? New York? British? British? No, because the... The southern accent comes from a British accent. Yeah, the British New demand Yorker. the southern part of the accent. <laughs> now, just do British. I feel like Brit Greed's right. British fits best. <laughs> Evil British. All right, give me a second. That's just British. Yeah, that's just British. I know. Oh, well, yes, I know. <laughs> Welcome to the ended. I ended a whole timeline, and you can too, Pam. I'm your host, Evil Joy. Here with your co-host, Evil Faith. You're so invested that you forget to be alarmed that you're discussing ending your world. You gain plus two mind. So Has so anyone? No. <laughs> so to wrap up, just remember, incas incapacitate your non-evil twin. Oh, you made it clear. to a minimum, and when all else fails, C4 prevails. Thank you. <laughs> We've reached the Q&A portion of the panel. Does anyone have any questions? This is a question for you. No, no I don't want that voice. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. I gotta, I gotta get it. Give me a minute. <clears throat> Good to see her again. <laughs> this is a question for Evil Joy. Are you doing anything later, babe? How strange. My entire afternoon is completely settled with avoiding Salome with, like, the plague. Next. Not on your life. Not doing it. <laughs> hey, hello. No, I, I can't do a good neck beard. I'm gonna... It's like, it's like, hello, hey, how do you get that voice? It's so hard. 
Hello, ladies. So you claim you destroy your timeline, but really, its collapse was actually caused by Evil Hope ditching you to join our timeline's coven. She only left your timeline because our coven persuaded her to join them. Feel how smart. <laughs> oh god. So the real credit for ending your timeline goes to this timeline's coven, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> <laughs> Evil Faith pulls out a gun out of a purse and shoots Leonard in the knee. My knee! After that, the entire Q&A line hurries to sit back down. Psst. Zoe, this is your chance to ask a dumb question and totally prank the evil Kevin. Go for it. Yeah, sure. Prank the unhinged supervillains who have magic powers and a fucking gun. <laughs> See, legit, what are you questioning about? Would you mind reading the end, the things out, please? You read the whole panel. <laughs> of the two of you, who would you say is the most evil? We're betting on it. I'm pretty sure it's Evil Faith. What do you think? I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'll give this one. What? That's a stupid question. Quit wasting our time. Yes, I'm obviously the most evil of the pair of us. Way to lose the bet, dumbass. What? Excuse me? What makes you think you are more evil than me? Seriously? We Jaws are almost as always the coven leader in all timelines. So if our timeline's leadership metric is measured in evilness, I'm clearly the most evil. Aren't Faith supposed to be smart and level-headed? Surely you knew this was true. We Faith are smart and level-headed enough to know that that statement was complete lateral thinking bullshit. I'm definitely more diabolical than you, and I can prove it! Take this! Ow! You just boob punch me? Punching someone in the boob isn't evil, this is a bitch move! Seriously, even I'm not that evil. If you really want to be evil, you aim for the throat. Like so! Ha! <laughs> huh. Why did you bite me? Evil Joy makes a point. Throat biting is objectively more evil than boob punching. Hey up, Zoe. Ah, uh, you were Zoe. Ah, dang. Can't argue with that. Take my two money. Mama like it. I tried to tell you, dummy. Evil Faith is the hot one, not the evil one. God, I wish she punched me in the boob. <laughs> don't we all. Polly, don't we all. Sure. Oh dear. Matt, you okay? Oh yeah, sorry, I keep forgetting his name. <laughs> um questions or hype. Are there any other Brian's we should know about? <laughs> Depends on the reality. That's it. Let's go better way off. Is Vicky still No, I'm awake. It's alive! <laughs> Oh god. Alright. Welcome to the Battle Royale, where there are only two rules. Kill or be killed. Eh, Stopping to visit the place where everyone's <laughs> murdering each other was a sort of questionable decision on your part. But it's too late to leave now, so how will you survive? Strong alliance fucking hide. <laughs> Gotta feeling alliances. You and your friends are walking around the Battle Royale doing your best not to get murdered when you run to your friend Dahlia. I would definitely count as a strong alliance. <laughs> okay, okay I, get, I keep giving her different accents. Just but, go Russian with Okay. Them. No, I, I, I did Russian before. I keep, I'm gonna give her a different one every time we play. I mean, I gotta get... <clears throat> Hey, you guys. 
I didn't know you were going to be at the battle for yet. Glad we got to say hi before I, I, I defaulted to Russian. God damn it, that's not what Just I intended. Go, <laughs> go what? the Russian! Fuck you! Before I had to brutally murder you all. Oh, I read it! Me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I to respond to fucking messages here too. <laughs> Why are you... Would you murder us, bro? Aren't we friends? I'd rather team up with you and be cool by you. Of course we're friends. But there's no team in Battle Royale. I'll stop at nothing to win. Okay, there you go. It went more to where I was wanting it. <laughs> Attention everyone! Someone announced over the loudspeaker. We'll now be implementing a new rule partner battle. Everyone find a partner and kill as many people as you can together until you're the last group standing. Good luck. Oh, it looks like we can do teams now. That's good. But which of you would strategically be the best to pair up with? Scott's obviously got the brawn, but Polly's at a clear advantage for being unrekillable. Hmm. I think I'll go with. I got Delia Greeno. It is I, Betnis, the obvious protagonist of this battle. The really Isle scenario here to ally with you in the hour of need. Oh God, the enemy! <laughs> Even with the unstoppable, we'll be unstoppable with your incredible killing physique, my plot armor, and our palpable romantic supplement. And combining our forces, we'll be sure to win the battle and take down the government in our meantime. One sec. Badness, you are literally a discount slayer. Effectively. <laughs> oh, sick. I'm good with that. See you on the other side, losers. God. Okay, I guess Zali is out of the equation, which means this is one of the situations where you can choose between Paul or Scott. Prank master? Oh, bad news, boo. Scott and I already paired up with each other. Break masters for life. Great. Time to get desperate. You see two lone people still searching for someone. Snag one of them quickly. Fortnite or <laughs> Edge? Uh. One sec. Someone who has invested so much into this bullshit probably knows a thing or two. <laughs> probably. Rooting a little bastard looks like he's doing too much, so he has a visible pulsing arse, and that's made so good. Eh, uh, for the old days, Fortnite. Uh, Fantastic! Okay, fine. <laughs> you won't regret partnering with me. I have a plan to win this thing. Easy peasy. <laughs> like, I sound like a tryhard. <laughs> Step one, we gotta buy these matching banana suits to survive. Jesus Christ, the old days. <laughs> okay, you really don't get it, but it seems confident to pull out the Battle Royale's on menu and spend negative three money on banana suits. Oh god, we need money. You get <laughs> Great, now check out this house to our left. Your partner pulls out a rifle out of nowhere and guns down the fire. I feel like you know the out. exact YouTuber I'm kind of pull out. <laughs> Not really, but I'm just kind of going. It's okay. Coming out of your house, it's you left. Nice. We totally pull on their asses. It feels like you're just pulling from a YouTuber archetype at this point. More or less, actually. <laughs> sure. What were the banana suits for, though? So we can do the banana dance on their corpses, obviously. Come on, dance with me. Dance with me. Is that really necessary? Shouldn't you focus on killing more people? Trust me, I know my shit. I've been to this battle royale long enough to know. Long enough to become a 568 banana dancer. God. Uh. Brian is really... <laughs> He's sick of this shit. Uh. He just no, wanted I'm to sick of the fact of getting messages like that right now. Oh, fuck. Aww. Look, Alia, survivors. I'll aim my arrow for their throats and. <gasps> no, they're doing the banana dance. It's a stupid chai to ensure an immediate victory. Memes! The meteorite. I hate this pay to one shit. Well, guess you'll never question the effectiveness of microtransactions again. You, neg you gain plus three hype with your appealing moves. We need to lose hype, for God's sake. <laughs> mm. 
money. Might as well mention. Well, we kind of have to. We don't really have a. <laughs> this is not really going to help us at all. And this, I mean, our money's kind of low. Yeah. Steal, 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 steal. It steal. does matter because if we get to money. zero. I thought we were on the mode where it doesn't matter. Which is the big yeah. spender here. I, I don't think we're on the mode where. It, are we on the mode where it doesn't matter I if we lose? I can I'm pretty sure we are, but. Better be safe, wow, this is one fancy house. These people must be rich, rich. There's sort of an unsettling vibe of this place that probably just being rich feels like. And now's your chance to barge in and see what billionaire living is like for yourself when it you the most. It's up to you, but I find the idea of babysitting the kids way too funny. Uh, it hurts experiments. Yeah. You and your friends ring the manor doorbell, and a wealthy woman dressed in furs arrives. Oh, hello, she says. We are here to look after Grandpa. <laughs> oh, uh, we're not trained to care for old people, really. I don't care, he's driving me nuts. I'll give you plus four might look after him. Follow me. Oh yeah, our thing's stuck. <laughs> okay, you're taking it to a dark shadowy oh god, take it to a shadowy basement where you find an old man using a circular saw. Oh, visitors come in. So nice to meet you. Are those snakes okay? <laughs> yes, don't look at their their eyes. Have nice you seen my long you. lost grandchild? <laughs> Sorry. Nice to meet you too, Gramps. I'm sure you have a lot of old Splash Kaboom games lying around down here. Oh, I have much more than just a game. I'm the biggest Splash Kaboom fan in the world. Let me show you some of my work. Oh, this is Crimson. <laughs> this is Crimson Dark Heart, my original Splash Kaboom character. He splashed his best friend and uses class, sass, and radical charm. I see! This design is clearly... Uh... Creative! Yes, isn't Crimson amazing? He's just the sort of guy you'd like to know in real life, don't you think? Maybe someday, <laughs> And this is Crimson Loyal Steed, Excelsior the Ghost Wolf. All the best OCs have He's minor got two asses. <laughs> have minor OCs attached to them to build lore. That's the ghost half. There's a ghost head on the other side. This is a really weird looking horse. He also speaks French and Italian. You know, oh, you God. kids are remarkably similar to X. Oh God, no! <laughs> are remarkably similar to Excelsior, almost as if you're two halves of his whole body. <laughs> as if God put you in my lab so that I might stitch you together and make my incredible steed a reality. Pump the brakes, Gramps! Loving your OCs is one thing. But doing amateur surgery to bring your OCs to life is a step too far. Don't you worry, it'll be over soon. Stay here, I'm going to get my forceps. Polly, I have a question. <laughs> is it Polly? Is just me or is this starting to get weird? No shit, it's getting weird. Grandpa wants to stitch us up together to make a cursed OC chimera. I love you guys. But I'm not spending the rest of my unlife so to Scott's butt. We need escape, but we need a distraction. God. Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> oh Scott's no. That's why I think it's great mind or soul. Honestly, both of them feel like they could be mind or soul. Well, again, uh, well so, okay, so try and find a better soul one. I'm trying to figure out if it's the soul one. Actually, the hype also could have be lost for the grandpa. I mean, at most we're going to lose is four. 
Yeah, so we're I'll, I'll try to take the top one because I feel like that could actually be hyped. I think he lost because wait, sitting through all that. Yeah, that will probably work. Hey, Grandpa, can you tell me, tell me in five minutes or less why you like Splice so much? Oh, I couldn't possibly fit my glorious evaluation of Splash Kaboom in those time constraints, but I'll try. I've loved Splash since I was a boy. Splash and his friends felt like my friends, and making characters in their world was my ultimate fantasy escape. Sadly, the franchise took a nosedive in the 80s when the creator killed off Toots. The best character. Fans were so incensed. We trampled that fucker in the streets! Yes, I was there. I held the bastard's head down while a man in full toot cosplay slit his throat. Ah, memories. But since then, they've been pushing a stupid agenda with Splash, like friendship is magic, and you shouldn't be head creators because you disagree with their ideas. Ugh. Back in my day, Splash didn't shove any of that PC oh, crap no, in his face. Getting worse. <laughs> the comics were bloody. The characters were sexy. It was a dream. The new writers aren't brave enough to do Splash right. The way I would do it. I say, give Splash Kaboom's tits back. Oh, God. Okay. I was like, I lost the hype. Okay. Well, again, thank God for hype. Yeah. I've had enough of this explanation. I'm losing hype by the second. Scott, now. <laughs> Scott hits Grandpa across the head with a chair, knocking him unconscious. You'll run for the exit. Bros? Wait, bros, isn't this isn't your isn't the way out? This is a dungeon or something? From the shadowy corner of the room, a bleeding, shambling, stitched together creature trudges towards you. Okay, time to kill something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a new expression. <laughs> what the Kentucky Yeah, that's like fuck? possessed. <laughs> what the Kentucky Fried Fuck is that? You guys can grow fast. Exit upstairs here before you end up like me. You've never have fled a room so fast. Time to express this whole tremendous compress this whole experience from your sanity. Yay, road trip. Again, Polly's grown as a character, considering that she found that horrifying. <laughs> okay. I want to talk to Polly. Let's choose yeah. wisely. Check in on her, make Let's sure she's okay. <laughs> it's just like that was fucked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Andrew, you want to make the trade or should I? Uh, you can do it this time. Okay. This time. This time. Make Brian me first. Make oh, for God's sake. No beds here. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Ryan, the, the shop up. always That's goes here. Damn it, how am I? I you can have everything on oh, these shelves no. if you just trade me that pesky liver, of course. Well, considering I'm dead, maybe I'll be fine. No, no, you still need that, unfortunately. <laughs> you can get another one. What are you I here for? Oh, you don't even know. Less talking, more liver removing. Fine, but I'll get you next time. Do you have anything else for trade? Uh, well, we could trade magic. I don't need magic that much, but there's no. The uh, the one in the top right of our inventory is soul. Oh. I think you just traded oh. away stamina. No magic. Yeah. 
Your soul is mine now. That's yeah, hype. Yeah, don't like the hype again. Fucking damn it. Ugh. I don't think any of it was gonna give us stamina anyway, but yeah. yeah. But stamina is any food item. Well, that look look like food. No, it isn't. Oh, for God's sake! It looked like berries or onions. It kind of does look like a food item, so I don't yeah, really showing images of it, but it's also clearly playing cards of some kind. I think it's what? Band-Aids. <laughs> that could be yeah, the band-aids make sense. Like oh, it snakes band-aids. They probably have scratch sniff or something. Yeah. Anyway, he got that from your 12th birthday. <laughs> is what he said. <laughs> Matt? Yeah, sorry, I'm again. Capitalism. <laughs> Was was I good guy or forget? No, no, I, uh, Doom, I think. Yeah, you just skipped a piece of his text. That's okay. Yeah, I, uh, oh, hey, uh, the Mirage has minus a uh, hype. That's hype? That's, yeah, that's mine. minus hype. No, that's mine. You're right. Uh, the gas oh. station has stamina. Or is that magic? That's magic. Ah. Yes. When it's got food and he's starving, that's m <laughs> bad stamina. Uh. Base agent guarantee, I guess. You can do it. Negative soul. Huh. What can I tell you about good old chess? Castle early, control the center, create a favorable pawn structure. That's smart. I'm taking notes. Look, the best thing you can do is read theory and then play. Play, play, and then play some more. Ooh. You need to exercise your chest muscle until the patterns and concepts transcend the, from reason to intuition. That's my trick, really. I've been playing with my, I've been playing chess with my mom since forever, and she happens to be a grandmaster. She and I are so different. She's such a calm, collected woman. I love her. And with our personalities being written in completely different languages, chess has been our common denominator, our shared space. Oh. Uh -huh. We find each other in chess. I I think we get to understand each other through chess. Oh, Polly. So yeah, being raised by a chess grandmaster really helps. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely help. I agree. I'll say. Nowadays, I only seek out challenging high stakes matches, or it it gets very boring very quickly. <laughs> I developed the trick, though. The combat boredom, that is. I built stories and personalities for my pieces, and then I play accordingly. <laughs> my buying knight is secretly in love with... Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. B1 knight. Yeah. <laughs> my entire thing got thrown off there. <laughs> my B1 knight is secretly in love with my F1 bishop. I must move the knight close to its lover... And be ready to sacrifice it to save the bishop. Aww. So I focus on all these little stories and whatnot. That way I don't get bored or by otherwise too easy match. Don't tell Liam. I always need to do this when I'm playing against him. And I suspect he thinks he's putting up a fight based on how focused I seem. It's cute. <laughs> Silly Liam. <laughs> yes, silly Liam. Anyway, yeah, I do love chess. Oh god. What's our strategy here? Oh. Hold on. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? All resources, gains, and losses from a location events are increased by one. Yeah. And Vicky's thing is, 
Oh yeah, they increase over time. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, that's gonna be a fun week next week. Hug <laughs> Vicky. Oh, her interests. Huh? Time for love. Oh, it's so hard to choose. I just love getting into new stuff every now and then. Like I see cool bird fact in a movie. A new day, a new Next thing I know, I bought a bunch of books about birds and searching for some bird documentaries. Then it's everything birds for some weeks or months until I've scratched that brain itch. That's called hyperfixation. <laughs> it sure is. Congrats on your autism. Matt. Wow, that sounds intense. <laughs> it does a, a bit, doesn't it? I don't know. It's just that the world is so full of super interesting stuff for me to learn about. There's some stuff you've dived into recently. Hmm. The chemistry of smells and perfumes. I want to say probabilistics. But I know that's not right. Probabilistics? Probabilistics? Alright, fine. We'll go with probabilistics. Probabilistics, recent findings in material technology. I finished finished with that in one that one last week. So what's next for Vicky Smith? I love her goggles. Like she really is a brainiac. Actually, isn't your whole stick making choices? This is gonna be fun. Why don't you help choose a new interest for me? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh yeah, this is how these work. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Here's the rules. I give you some clues about what I like, and you give me some helpful advice. One sec, looking something up. <laughs> <laughs> totally not cheating, shut up. Absolutely cheating, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> If your advice is bad, you lose, and I guess I do too, in a way. Um, okay? Yay! Yay! I love I mean, how they meta know this, like, is it because they're the playable characters? <laughs> I love getting my hands dirty, but I'm not super careful. Which is a nice way to say I'm a bit of a klutz. Oh, yeah. But I'm also a woman of science. STEM fuck the world. Also, again, good expression. <laughs> like the blue light. Smart. Woohoo! And what else? Ah, hmm. uh, I know I'm not into meanie stuff, but <gasps> good idea. Gotcha. Yep, that's more than enough to go on, right? Come on, Zoe, do your thing. Give me your best feel. Taxidermy is a shortcut to reach. Well, ethics and AI development. Building a miniature model of merchant ships from the 16th century. Alright. What are you guys thinking? Mm, I'm feeling... <laughs> ethics? Alright. You actually know the answer? Like, you actually get, actually... I do know the answer, I'm just asking okay. what you guys think from what you... From I mean, my guess would be either ethics or building miniature models, because I feel like left falls on, might fall under the meanie category, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's see what the ethics. Good idea. There we go, I mean, that does regard not being meanie. Okay, that's not a bad idea. How did you come up with that? Let's still look from the internet. Uh, I don't know. I just pasted two uh, things together to sound like stuff you like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Zoe? Sometimes the simplest solution is the best one. 
That's why we complement each other so well. When I get lost in overthinking, you just go and mix two terms to find the right solution. Really? So, just to be 100% sure, that was the right solution, yes? Yep. Nice. Phew. <laughs> just like us, like if we didn't use cheese, just... <sighs> it is such an intriguing field I already like. And the ethics of it? It's a necessary part of AI development that's becoming more important by the minute. In the end, it's foolish to reje reject progress. I thought they said it's regress. Something... <laughs> regret? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but sometimes progress goes too fast for us to consider its ethical ramifications. And that's not nice. AI is here to stay, sure. But how should it operate? Big questions with no answers. <laughs> no, you silly. Those answers, do, those questions do have answers. That's the whole point. Ah, okay. I also love how she's creating little electrical shocks just with her own electricity. <laughs> well, let me rephrase that then. Big questions whose answers I surely don't have. You're an eldritch whore, how do you not? Ethics wasn't really concern when they were in Eldritch Core. Yeah, okay, yeah. Don't fret, that's why Vicky will soon be reading a lot of books on the topic and watching informative videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Here's how to regard ethics in robotics. And I'll be there, ready to listen to you when you feel the urge to share the interesting things you learn. Yay! Yay! Hmm? Mm -hmm. Maybe. You really want to start watching those videos on the topic right now, don't you? Pretty please? <laughs> you spend the rest of the night binge watching essay videos on the ethics of the AI. You even understand some of them. Is Vicky more than a friend? <laughs> well, considering she's Greed's main playable character, I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nah. <laughs> Actually, I'm more of a. Another party. A mirror girl. Would you date your clone? Would you date the person that you embody? <laughs> Would you date your host, par <laughs> Parasite? <laughs> Parasite. <laughs> All right. <sighs> oh my God! Stop copying here, hype. <laughs> what? It's showing that the hype's still the highest. Thing yeah, it ever. is. But stamina is close behind. We need to just focus stamina and get this done. Chaos is great, but oh my god, <laughs> we keep gaining hype. It's really fo forcing us towards hype. Okay, what's that one? That's... Secret Soul, Soul. soul. Remember, you can hit tab. Oh yeah, no, that, okay, bottom one is Mind, Soul, Soul. That's, oh, Stamina Up, Doom's Diner, let's go. Hey, Andrew, we're coming man. to see you. I'm bored, I want something to happen now. God damn it, I hit the pedestrian yeah. again. Hey, uh, you just reached a high amount of stamina. Good for you. Please, yes, this is what we want. Aiming for the stamina based ending? We are, yes. If so, well, there's this wacky adventure that can lock a layer for that destination. Want to go for it? Please, we've been waiting for it. Great, the event will be waiting for you on the road. Stop making the fourth wall. See ya. Mwah. You're right about this, Dino, in the listicle of the top ten most cursed restaurants you should never ever visit. Why did you bring us here? <laughs> uh, so hungry. Obviously, you took that as a challenge. I mean, considering technically two of us are dead, one's an amorphous blob, and the other's a fire ifrit. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I forgot, we're playing with a different character, so. Amorphous blob. One's an Eldritch Horror, one's undead, one's an amorphous blob, and one glitches through reality just by sneezing. Seriously, after all that dark magic you've messed with over the years, you think you could handle a diner. So now that you're here, what do you do? I mean, to be honest, you're probably the most squishy person here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Order something. 
You all enter the diner and sit down to order. Your waiter appears in a cloud of baleful energy and french fry smell. Oh, that's made possible even among the original f four. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, no, you're right. <sighs> Welcome to Doom's Diner. Behold a den of shadow and rot. Heavy with the weights of curses handed down from generation to... Huh. Yeah, yeah, we already heard it from your greeter. He's, a, he's in the parking lot with his dick out, screaming that the end of all diners is nigh. <laughs> oh, you mean negative. He doesn't work here. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, uh, does he act like that because he's cursing you? Nah, he took the wrong kind of shrooms. But this place can and will curse you. Even the menu items harbor dark, forbidden magic that will permanently ruin you if you consume it. Yeah. Speaking of the menu, if I order the Doom Burger meal deal, can I replace my side with a beer and also my entree? Actually, I think I'll just I'll just want three beers. Meanwhile, in the back, Ooh. you just see Andrew's head pop out. No beer for you. <laughs> no beer for you. I want hot wings, please. Which sauce do you recommend? Miedo y Tabasco on Las Vegas, or literally blood, maybe? Haven't you people heard of eating a goddamn warning? This food is cursed! If you eat it, it'll corrode you like a beast in repose. It'll twist your mind and sell your soul to the highest bidder, it! Shouldn't you, as a waiter and all, be selling us on the idea of eating at this diner. You don't seem very good at your job, boo. <laughs> so, Brian, what are you gonna order? I'm gonna go for the soup because it is, I'm pretty sure it's because it's the most boring thing ever. Soup. Fair. <laughs> and that's gotta be hype loss. Fine. What, no fun warnings on this one? What horrible curse does this soup have? Is it a soup that for evil forest hag used to boil a child? Was this soup the last meal of an 18th century archbishop who died under mysterious circumstances? Will the soup turn Brian's nostrils inside out when he inhales its delicious smell? Nah, it's just onion soup. I just started projectile vomiting. <laughs> I hate onion soup! Oh, are the onions cursed at least? Nope. Aww. Well, that's kind of a letdown. Man, everyone's a critic. You lose negative three hype with your lame soup. But it tastes pretty good, so you gain plus three stamina. Nice. Uh, I know. Wait, you, were the, you were the first person? Oh, oh Jesus. No. <laughs> huh? No, think about... No, no, no. What he's implying is... I made the first decision, meaning that Vicky's thing is still stacking, which means that the losses are going to get bigger. Well, we have Vicky and Pet Polly's things Yeah, happen. oh god. Thank Kit, god. you may have just put a lot of hurt. Okay, that's soul loss, so we can lose yeah, soul. Yeah. That's magic loss. We can lose magic. So we got I'll two guaranteed I, okay I, I losses. Give I, I give them... I feel like we have done the space station before mm. with that soul loss specifically. I mean, I can hit the circus if you want. Take your pick, Andrew. We'll follow you your pursuit. You choose whichever one you want. Go to circus, I guess. Mm. I got an achievement for doing that, though. I heard the ding. I got it. I got it too. I, I got it too. Do the for choosing a location on the on the notice board and, and not doing it. Nice. <laughs> You're driving past a rest stop where you see some ghosts chatting outside their van. Polly rolls her window down and waves hello. Oh, the party goes. Polly, what's up, bitch? Whoa, Polly's here? Haha, <laughs> small world. Give me a hug, pretty girl. You park the car and greet Polly's friends, Summer, Macarena, and Cheese. The ghost <laughs> of Polly's past. 
What are you guys doing here? You going on a trip? We're on way to we're Tony. We're going every year in our our, our own lives together. <laughs> we just pulled over to buy gum for our festival survival kit. Uh, there are professional survival kits? I didn't know survival was so important in these things. I thought music festivals are all about going wild. <laughs> they, they are, bro. My, my, my hair, dude. But in order to party hard, you first gotta party prepared. I'm packing a printout of the schedule to make sure we see all of our favorite artists. A map of the grounds in case we get lost. I love her design so much. Water for drugs that dehydrate you. Gum for drugs that make you grind your jaw. Baby wipes for drug drugs that make you poo. She is. She's really pretty. Mm. I want her top. It is a nice top. You ghost poop. Turns to Polly. <laughs> Not usually, but poop drugs are powerful stuff. So, have you guys made your festival kits yet? What'd you put in the eyes? I'm always looking for inspiration. You'll know ghosts of parties past, but you've been around the dance floor enough times to know the perfect addition to any survival kit. Top is plus plus mind, bottom is plus stamina. <laughs> Great idea. Three days of straight parting is exhausting. So outsourcing all the walking and standing to a horse would save plus three stamina. Uh, but aren't you guys ghosts? Can you just float anywhere? Oh my god, you can't just ask someone how they float. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, but as a matter of prints, we're going with the horse thing. It's too dope an opportunity to pass up, man. I love, I love the one on the left. Who? Thanks, Glitch. I know party prep isn't the most hype nice. activity, but I appreciate you taking this seriously. Good job, Andrew. Uh, we. <laughs> Yeah. Also, if we want to get this thing, we need to make sure that our stamina doesn't get too high too quick. Oh, yeah, hold up. <laughs> Flash forward to the music festival, the crowds are screaming and running in terror. Beware the ghosts on horses! They cry. They'll trample any man, woman, or porta potty their way! Yeah. I'm not for anybody else taking this one. They must be the ghost of some festival attendees who got trampled by a crowd. They return to get revenge. Someone says. Or maybe they're the three horsemen of the apocalypse someone else suggests. I'm just going to put the whole thing. Okay. Sorry. Were there four horsemen though? Sorry, I took that one. No, no. No, you can keep going. Oh, maybe. I can't remember. Let me look it up. Shit, I'm not getting any soul service. No! <laughs> Oh god, it really is the end of days. Run for your lives! This rocks, man. I'm never going to another music festival without a horse. They cut through the crowd so well, dude. I mean, it really would. I'm below the horse. Name, probably I love my horsey. I named her Om Nom. She's the bestest because she shares her ketamine with me. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> That's horse It's the way to the main stage, guys. We can take a shortcut if our horses jump over the bar counter. Giddy up! Well, you didn't do the other festival attendees any favors, but your hot friends had fun, which is all that matters. <laughs> Although you can't sure romance is. them. Fuck! <laughs> you, Polly, and Scott, grab some popcorn and head to your seats to watch the circus. On your way there, the ringleader runs up to you. Reed, take this one. Hey! whispers I suddenly lost some of my performers to a soup related accident and I desperately need an act to cover them and I thought to myself if I randomly checked with the audience I made bump into actually trained performers willing to join us Le Mime the rationale of this man is quite questionable, but you were born to embrace nonsense, so you tell him you are circuit performers. I love how <laughs> he's pickpocketing with his tail. 
Which is probably coming out of that person's backpack because Andrew defies laws of gravity and physics. Your doesn't matter which space is your space, my space is all space. <laughs> I am space. You just look up, Andrew's eyes just staring down at you. Oh. <laughs> all space. Read. Fantastic. What act can you do? Okay, increase money, magicians, lose magic. Aerialists? Chaos. Hmm. Hmm. It's on uh, you, we Andrew. Need we need money, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Why don't people already call you a clown in everyday life? Why don't we juggle for a crowd and make a career out of it? Bros? I don't know about these bros. I don't think I actually know how to juggle. <laughs> don't be silly, Scott. I mean, don't be silly. You can juggle. It's just like throwing a ball to yourself and then catching it. Times three. You're pretty sure juggling is a lot more complicated than that. Oh, wow, Paul, you're right! You can me go! Wow, cool. Well, the audience doesn't seem to be as impressed at Scott's sudden juggling skills. Uh... <laughs> I, I think I got, I got one for the main dude if you want to do the side dude. Scott! Is that you? Get off the stage, bro. Mike was asking. We wanted to see someone juggling some balls. We would have gone to a strip club. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Being mean is my cousin's love language. Hi, bros. Love language or ass? The wolf pack seems to be convincing part of the crowd to actually go to a strip club. You're gonna need a sick juggling trick if you want to wow these jerks and get paid. Something like... Do the third is juggling and fulfilling jobs, slowly but steadily decaying health and the realization you'll never be the person dreamed of. Oh, Jesus Christ, a little real. Wow, everyone, by juggling two contradicting ideas. I'd say take the top one because I feel like that's a soul or hype loss. I feel like that one's hype. Damn, Glitch, are you sure? The 30s is a really hard trick to pull off. One wrong move and you could end up with a serious case of delusion Smith. Delusionment. Yep. yep. I'm not sure what that second word is there. Ennui. Delusionment and ennui. Yeah, you're doing the 30s. They're inevitable anyway. By the way, ennui. A feeling of weirdness and dissatisfaction, a.k.a. boredom. You start to oh, responsibilities and ailing health like a real adult. What's going on? Oh, God, I forgot his voice already. What's going on? Who's that dumb clown suddenly looks so dead inside? Well, if you're committed to doing this... Scott, let's be Glitch. Glitch's lovely assistants and throw them more struggles to juggle. Okay. Hey, Glitch, remember when you said you wanted to write the great American novel? What happened to that? Glitch, your grandma just called and wants to know when you're having kids. The clock's ticking, you know. Look, Glitch, I'm scrolling through your social media timeline and seeing all your former classmates living fulfilling lives. Jealous? Jesus. Damn. Who knew a juggling guy could be so impressive and so depressing at the same time? You managed to finish the trick and get a standing ovation. You earned plus four money from the carnies, but at what cost? A wink. Cheer up, Glitch. It's okay. You're still in your 20s for now. Yeah, it's the for now part you're stressed about. You lose negative four hype and gain one quarter life crisis. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeesh. So, at bare minimum, the next ones are gonna be five. <laughs> yeah. Um... Now you can take the minus soul on the top one. Yeah, the soul seems to be the better option. Yeah, I just want to see what the... Hmm. Thing is, like, that's the thing we have. We don't want to lose, Sam. Yeah, so we, alright. We can afford to lose more... I oh, I the soul the we have the most of next. Don't you mean shoes? No. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brian's just in the back like, yeah, I know that feeling, high five. Oh, you had no idea there was another country out here in the middle of the desert. 
I mean, unlike, unlike Brian, Vicky can actually replace those things. Why can't I? Oh, wait, no, it's I'm my own body. Zombie. I wasn't sewn together from other things, right? Damn it. <laughs> You're just a regular zombie. Right, I need my own body parts. You rot. <laughs> I wonder why I was wearing a lot of- I literally drowned myself in deodorant in the morning. Okay. Of course, geography was never your strong suit, or maybe this civilization is new. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? In the case, you're hella curious to check out this place. What do you do when you cross the border? Smuggle something out, alright. Alright. This country is a little more than a cottage in a small field. You knock on the door. Howdy, how are you, tourists? Welcome <laughs> to my personal country. I love how you all sounded like you said terrorists. <laughs> that sounds. Whoa. You have your own country? What's it called? Europe. <laughs> uh, what? Isn't Europe already the name of a continent? So what? Citizens of the United States call themselves Americans, even though North and South America are continents. Hmm. That's if a, people that's think that's normal, then F it. This is Europe, and people who live here are called European. Huh. Besides, mine is a superior group. We've got no taxes. We, just, we decriminalize murder via piano wire when these have been abolished. This is a hell site, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. And we make a make a one of a kind product you can't find anywhere else on Earth. Guaranteed. Awesome, bro! That sounds awesome. Can we have one? No, it's illegal to bring these products over the border. The border? You mean that line drawn in the sand over there? Pass the one, G Dooley. <laughs> right. Okay. So what happens if we do smuggle something out? You don't want to know, little miss. <laughs> you watch Noodle slowly pull some piano wire out of his hat. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Come on, Zoe, don't pussy out on me now. We gotta smuggle something out. It'll be great. Pick something to take. Okay. We're losing soul, what are we gaining? Uh, let's see, the uh, the one on the left is probably mine, the middle is probably... could Well, could be either magic or stamina. And the one on the right is likely hype. Or money. This one's probably money, to be honest. The or blueprints for our market disrup disrupting uh, thing. That or, I, that or mind. I don't want to get stamina. That would well, be don't bad, want, right? I feel like the only one that would possibly give stamina is the key. Because, you yeah. know, immortality. But it's, it also could be magic, but, but again, no sure. It's the only thing uh, that I'm sure of it isn't is that the other two aren't stamina. Okay, we'll get the action figure. Okay, good choice. We need to smuggle it some out somehow, though. <laughs> oh, I know. Zoe, stick it, stick it up your butt. God. It sounds painful as hell. It's not like Noodles has a customs office or a metal detector. Can you just put it in my pocket or one of my mouths? No, silly. This is this is how you have to smuggle stuff. It's tradition. Now open that buddy hole wide. Oh, uh, fun. You sneak out of Europe with the valiant buff Noodles action figure in your ass. Just a sentence I never thought I'd say. Yay! Your own value buff noodles. The box says he comes with dozens of fun voice lines to make you forget the crushing weight of being alive. Sean pulls his valiant buffs noodles pull string. You would have washed it off first if you were him, but whatever. Apparently you take it off. Hi, I'm Valiant Buff Noodles. He says the doll. Hello. Hi noodles. Existence is pain! Haha, <laughs> yes it is. Whoa, it really sounded like him. Welcome to Europe! All hail noodles, Europe. Yes, the most pizza and no dirty communists. 
Uh, what does fire taste like? Lick some and find out. Um. Okay, anyone got a lighter? Scott, please no. You know what? That's enough valiant buff noodles. Polly throws the action figure out of the car window. Guess it was fun while it lasted. Well. Yeah. Alright. So I expected. Alright, everything's kind of in an even state right now. That's good. Yeah. Come on. Next to six. <laughs> yep. When do we get our next event, though? Like, is it is it between I rest I think stops? it might be next week. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, we're probably gonna have to take a break if that's the case, because I'm... Yeah. Mm. Mm. Probably, probably after the, uh... Probably when the next week starts. Yeah, I hope so. But can uh, we afford to lose? Uh, uh... We can take a I money hit, just... but only just. We could lose height, I guess, but... There's nothing that's guaranteed the loss of that. Mm. I mean, if we could take a money hit, we could take a magic hit, but... It's the unknowns. Chaos, Where baby, you chaos. Do you want to go see animals, or do you want to see, uh... Hold up, I'm gonna look up the modes. Let's pick a direction, and I'll just figure it out here. Monster... Mm. We'll go see animals. Alright. Where do you want to go, Vicky? Anywhere. I'm a road trip completionist. Huh. God. Welcome to the Animal Sanctuary. It even has a petting zoo. There are dogs, cats, goats, bunnies, alpacas, ducklings. Here, don't be it won't hard to see how many- Oh, oh no. god. Thousand <laughs> years of hay! <laughs> <laughs> Run by all this wholesomeness and fur, what do you want to do? Not to caf Cat Cafe, because we don't want to get Sam that too early now. <laughs> you sure? You know what, fuck it. I'm gonna pet the animals. Hmm. Matt? Sorry, I'm trying to look it up still. Uh, you're checking the place out, pooping snoot with all sorts of cute critters when you run into a familiar witch. Hello there. Hello there. What brings you to the petting zoo and animal sanctuary? You want to pet the cute animals? This place is so cool. I agree. I love volunteering here. It's a great place to meet some animals, and maybe even adopt a critter in need. Feel free to pet all the animals you like. We've got puppies, kittens, duckies, alpaca -ies. What about these geese? They look cute. No, I don't recommend that. Never trust a goose. Faith goes back to working her shift, and you get to work on petting some animals. Okay, we did friend hugger, didn't we? Yeah, I think. Play with your friends without anyone ending up with a failure and MVP ending. No pressure. Okay, there's that part. Okay, so Go I to the bunny to pen. To stroke a rabbit's soft ears, one rabbit puts his nose in your pocket. Oh, Well, again, I hope that's what it means. Oh, no, it's stealing for us. <laughs> then it grabs your car keys in his mouth and runs off. Damn it! Oh. oh. You chase the rabbit around the pen. You can't catch it, but you're attracting attention. Kids are pointing at you and crying. Stop trying to steal the poor bunny khaki. <laughs> but are, those are our khakis. The rabbit stole them first. That's exactly what somebody trying to steal a rabbit's keys would say. Man. Great. Even if we get the keys back? We'd be found guilty in a court of public opinion. Cause what should we do? Be nice, offer the bunny your 90s comic about a very sexy rabbit who's a basketball player. <laughs> Battling against evil aliens in exchange for the game. Uh, Space Jam comic, of course. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. Uh, we did the easy road trip style, which means higher initial resources, deep conversations are impossible to fail. Ah, oh, okay. So I think there's no chance we'll lose this, but God, I hope not. 
You can your car keys by challenge car rape. The winner keeps the car. Okay, so the bottom one feels like you're gaining height. Hmm. I don't know what you would... Maybe soul? I don't know. Money? It might be money, yeah. I feel like the top one's a better option either way. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, well, pick it. Slowly you drop down and hold your comic book out to the rabbit. It takes a few tentative hops forward and sniffs the comic. You like my comic? It's a classic story of aliens wanting to turn the world into a theme park, but the rabbit protag defeats them in a game of high-stakes basketball. This is the 90s version, so the rabbits are way more sexualized. Back then, being a furry was so radicalized. Wasn't so ridiculed, sorry. The surrounding kids are laughing and taking photos of you. Doesn't mean he won't ridicule you anyway. They cackle. Great. Why are you... Why are you explaining all this to a dumb rabbit, Taz? One, it can't understand you. Two, it can't read anyway. Polly's proven wrong when the rabbit takes her out comic and teeth and starts turning the pages. Hands up on a sexy centerfold panel, the protagonist rabbit wearing her boldly revealing basketball uniform. Rabbit's eyes go wide. It drops your keys and drags your comic off to the bathroom just to do something you don't ever want. To imagine a rabbit doing ever again. Touchdown! Woo! You did it, Taz! Uh, that's exactly oh. what I'm doing. I'll be damned. There was a reason to over-sexualize rabbits, after all! You lose- leave losing negative six height for giving up your horny comic, but gaining six soul for bartering nicely with a bunny. Okay. So we oh, yeah. lose soul next. If you got sealed negative soul, take it. <laughs> Alright. Time to chill out. Okay. Alright, I'm going to- I gotta go here. We gotta trade something. <laughs> uh... Board, I guess. Sometimes you update my fanfic. I think you might still need to talk to Zo to Vicky, but I'm not sure. Kid, you want a romance? No, 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 <laughs> not this round. Right. Little shop of weirdness. Oh, he still got all those pesky worldly possessions, huh? Why not trade them? To me, for some of this weird stuff I have got, nothing matters anyway. I mean, you're right, but still. I can't remember what that is. I know these two are st stamina. Those, the ones on the right are stamina. The one on the bottom left is hype. The one on the top left is probably soul or mind. We can take the hit. Um... Nice. We, we need Wait. hype to be honest right oh, now. Yeah, no, because hypes are lowest. Uh, I feel like the heaven one is soul. Know. The boyfriend. I like the. I like the off-brand Scott snacks. By the way, <laughs> uh, it, it might be the inflatable boyfriend. Might be hype. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I had an once. Nice, mind down. Oh god. That was not soul. <laughs> I ever was sure. I just knew what the yeah, others were. Well, we'll figure it out. Andrew? Thank you for your business. See you all in your darkest dreams. What? <laughs> just choose one thing. You can do it. You know what? That's fine. That's a fine that's, one. But I, that's why I picked that. <laughs> so, like, I'm going to equal out some stuff here. <laughs> mm-hmm. What do you want me to pick? Well, we'll look at what they offer. Remember, you can hit tab are... to look at the we colors. We take the national park and lose some stamina. From yeah, it. we'd be fine with taking one hit. Yeah. Let's choose wisely. We gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, Zoe. Oh, do you... kid. Well, no, kid oh, just wait. went to the bathroom. Oh wait, then. <laughs> I wish for bed. Listen, we'll finish this conversation, then we'll put you to bed. 
As soon as it saves the the actual beginning of next oh, day. I probably already reached the point of being overtired anyway. S just runs to your house, slaps you. <laughs> Why, God damn it! But no, overtired means I'm now I'm completely effing awake. Oh. Now that I've gone over the curve of being tired and hit the waking point again. No, I'm sorry, man. Well, I mean, hopefully by the time I get to bed, I actually do get to bed. Again, we can just put you to bed if you want to try. Well, I'm kind of already here. There is no going mm -hmm. away until it's saved. No, nah, here's an old meme. I came back. <laughs> All right. Oh, y'all could have gone. Oh, fuck, I forgot my phone. Y'all could go through this without me. Well, we didn't know. Also, Andrew's apparently reached overtired, which means his energy's come back up, but we should still try, probably try and put him to bed. Oh, okay. All right, so, let let's finish pick. this up, and then we'll... Yeah, then we'll see. Yep. Oh, hey, Zoe. Aww. Sorry, but I can't talk one-on-one -on -one right now. I'm trying to memorize all the birds. All of the birds? Yeah! I guess I could help. <laughs> oh, that would be stellar! Wanna go alphabetically or by color? You hang out with Zolly all night, <laughs> helping him memorize every species of bird. It's goofy but fun, just like her. Alright, and now someone leaves. <laughs> really? We did? Okay, yeah, week four. Week five. Five. <laughs> 